Hey guys, I was walking through and yesterday I caught this device on the video and I didn't completely know what I was looking at. Judging by the looks, you would naturally assume that this guy right here is a UV cabinet, but it is not. I knew it was some sort of sterilization, but it is not a UV cabinet. It's better. So let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, interesting little cabinet. All right. All right. So here we go. You can see that there's a variety of things that are loaded into it. There's food grade items. We got batteries. Why would a battery ever be in a sterilizer? Uh, you're about to find out. So take, what is that? So it is fogging the chamber. You can see that there's a lot of irregular surfaces, a variety of different products. We got some rubber products. We got some steel. We've got electronics, to which I've already asked about contacts and electrical surfaces and would they corrode? The answer is no, and the reason is no is because what we are using, it's an acid that is vaporized and it's mixed and it sterilizes everything in the chamber in a matter of a minute. So here you can see the cycle is five minutes long, contact time only needs to be a minute, and you can see how efficient the vapor is. It's insane. Look at this thing. So. It has a variety of uses. You can see that they have it set up as an example with masks and electronics, but imagine like telemetry transmitters and stuff like that. You know, it's cold to the touch as it is just a vapor. When the cycle's done, it actually sucks the air back into a filter over a Peltier device to which it cools and con condensates so that it can reuse the sterilant, which is the acid. And every product in here, including the apple, it is food grade. So once it collects all the vapor back in, you can pull that apple out and you can eat it. How crazy is that? Some of these products, like the rubber products, have been sterile cycled over a thousand times. And I assure you, when you touch it, it feels just like a regular rubber product would. And we have over here a variety of other items that have been used just the same. Now, I think it's really cool. He's got some uh, schematics and he's got some breakdowns of his technology. But guys, what a cool device. It's rustic. You can see it's finishing up. Right now, we got three minutes left. Cycle's running. So the lights will change. Oh, you can see. It's, it's almost whisper quiet as well. I mean, obviously, you guys can probably barely hear it. It is pulling the vapor back in and it's gonna cycle it across that Peltier device and a carbon filter to which then it changes some of the chemical properties and brings it back into a usable condensate. And this device here only pulls 850 watts. And that's only when it's in this uh, reconditioning cycle that which you see right now. And that's because the Peltier device, it has a hot side and a cold side, to which it requires a lot of energy to achieve that difference. But you can see, the chamber becomes clear. There's no water vapor whatsoever. And when it comes to uh, odor, I smell a very faint vinegar. Very faint. And I'm standing right next to the cabinet, of course. But take a look at that up there. So the chamber is now completely clear. So it runs a little bit longer just to make sure that every surface is clean and clear. Here, I'm gonna keep videoing it right up until it sounds the ready alarm because it's so cool. It changes the interior light color. There, the prompt right here changes. See down here, this is where the chemical is uh, loaded into the device. Very cool, very well thought out. We've got one minute left. Show you guys around the back of the device. So you could fit multiple of these cabinets on a shelf and run them. Let's say you got a bunch of telemetry transmitters in there. Uh, ECG cables, leads, anything like that, you could uh, easily disinfect them. Let's say you got a defib that just came back from a code, 
You could throw the defib in here along with all its cables, sterile cycle it, and put it back on the crash cart, and you can affirm that it's cleaned and ready to go. So we got 30 seconds left on this cycle. Very cool. I had to stop and, and get a video of this because it is not what I thought it was going to be, guys. So take a look at this. If there's one thing that's happened in recent years, it's sterile technology has been getting dramatically better. Here we go. Three, two, one. Look at that. Ta-da! And they're done. So technically, we could pull that apple out right now and eat it. Anyway, guys, I uh, hope you like that. It's, it's probably one of the most interesting things I've seen at this entire show. And it's something new I didn't even know existed. Thanks for watching.